Now, let's start by getting this into perspective. Right now, Britain has one of, if not the strictest lockdowns in the world. Have a look at this chart. The higher these bars are, the tougher the restrictions on everything from hospitality opening to schools. And this measure from Oxford University, it's a bit imprecise, but it's worth pondering as the Prime Minister lays out those plans to get that bar lower, to ease lockdown, because we're coming from a high level. But that strict lockdown plus the vaccination programme might help explain why hospital occupancy, these dots here, are falling fast. But where do they go next? That all depends on how fast lockdown is eased. And Sage, the government's scientific group, have a few scenarios to illustrate this. So scenario one, if lockdown ended pretty much completely by the end uh, of April, you would see potentially hospital numbers getting up towards 60 to 70,000. That would be the highest peak we'd seen yet. It could mean a further 81,200 deaths, maybe even more if vaccinations don't work as well as hoped. And it would take the total death toll to over 200,000. Or scenario two, lockdown ending potentially by the end of May. Imperial reckons that means hospital numbers going to slightly below the latest peak. Or you've got scenario three, you can see that here, that's slightly later, still in July. I should say it's hard to map the government's plans onto these scenarios precisely because this is based on dates. Uh, they say they're basing everything on data, but they're somewhere between scenarios two and three potentially. And as you can see, all these later lines here, uh, there's scenario four, lockdown ended uh, by August. All of them see hospital occupancy peaking somewhere kind of around 20,000 or below, so better than last time around. And even these more optimistic parts, I should say, you still see another 33,000 deaths, according to this, bringing the total death toll to 170,000 or more. And that is if things go well. And even that's uncertain, I should say. Modelers at Warwick did the same exercise as Imperial. They found this chart on the right here. They found that hospital numbers would be far lower than Imperial. So who do we trust out of these two models? And that's before you consider the other uncertainty from things like vaccinations, the impact of the seasons and so on. Given the Prime Minister says he wants this to be about data. We're going to check on this in the next few weeks. But remember, this isn't the only data of significance. You've also got charts like this. The impact of lockdown on the economy, a big fall in economic output and a financial and social toll that's still being felt. So, with infections falling and an end to lockdown in sight, the balancing act between all of these data points remains incredibly tricky.